Liberty Insurance has been around in Farmington for forever. Liberty Insurance has always been there, but it's more than just a, a sponsorship that buys uniforms and equipment. It allows the 500 to save money in that area instead of putting just a colored shirt or a uniform on a child. And it helps us buy lands and fix up fields and reinvent buildings and programs. I think that commitment to Farmington Sports probably started with George Butcher, you know, who ran it at the time. And now it's the Turner family. I ran the girls um, softball league for about mm, 20 years, close to it. And every year that check was there from Liberty Insurance. They never had to worry about it. It was there, there was no question. If you look back at uh, sports calendars, even the little pocket schedules or different things like that, if you look back at those over the years, one of the ads you always see, Liberty Insurance. How many thousands and thousands of kids have worn a Liberty Insurance uniform? You know, and I think that that is a true testament of a great business that have stood the test of time Whatever you need, that's, that's Liberty Insurance, and thank God for them. Thank God we've had them all these years. A tremendous local business that doesn't forget where they come from and supports everything we do, and we're very proud to present the Allison Award to Liberty Insurance. On behalf of our organization and board members, I want to thank the Mutual family and the Turner family for being part of our family. Standing the test of time, that is what Liberty Insurance has done for decades upon decades. The Ellison Award was established in 2004 in memory of Dr. William H. Ellison, who made the very first contribution to the 500, which is the land on Summer Street still used for youth baseball today. I have to echo, echo what a Hall of Famer Zeke Garib said in the intro clip, when I was 500 pre president, the very first check that you'd receive in the mail for sponsorship was undoubtedly Liberty Insurance. That commitment to Farmington sports began with George Mutcher when he owned Liberty, and it continues to this day with the Turner family. And isn't that what small towns are all about? Local people, local business, helping to make our community a better place. And Liberty Insurance certainly does that. And that is why the prestigious 2014 Ellison Award is proudly presented to Liberty Insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome George Mutcher, Joe Turner, and Paul Turner. you, the directors, the board, the Boys and Girls Club for this very prestigious award. It's really special. I have to tell you one little story though. I came to town in the first week of August in 1961 to join a Liberty Insurance Agency with a fellow named Charles Aubrey King. Our office was located on the square and it was adjacent to Rufus's barbershop. Aubrey filled me in on an awful lot what's going on and what we want to do for the future. One thing he didn't tell me about, though, was the boys' club in those days <clears throat> had a 500 club raffle on the last Friday of the month. Well, let me tell you, they took the speakers out of Rufus's back room, hung them on the front of the office and the barbershop, because they owned the square then. And they started announcing songs, they played uh, records, and you mentioned Mo Chase on earlier, he had one deep voice. And when he got a hold of the microphone and called across the square at somebody going into the bank that he knew, man, the building shook. We couldn't hear ourselves on the phone, really. The next experience I had <coughs> is Dave Mosier came into the office one day, and it was in the early 70s. And he answers to sponsor a team. And we did. And from that day on, we really felt part of the organization. 
a real another special event. <laughs> my boys are all products of the 500 Boys Club, and so is my son-in-law, Gary. And the final one right now, it's my grandson, Peter, who is also in the coaching ranks. It's, it's been an enjoyable experience, and we've enjoyed every minute of it. And I certainly wish the Boys and Girls Club continued success. Paul. Uh, thank you. It's a privilege to receive this award. Uh, I thank the committee. Um, we, uh, George started the support uh, early 70s. Um, I got involved with the uh, club. I think Jim Cook asked me to umpire uh, back in the early 80s. And I'd walk over before a game with my sneakers on and put my gear on and took many low pitches, uh, pass balls, wild pitches off my toes. I don't think they've recovered to this day. Um, tried to work with the catchers to at least teach them how to block a low pitch, but it didn't seem to work too well. Um, you know, I think we've got a tremendous asset here in the 500 Club, as Sonny DiPrizio stated earlier. Uh, it's got to be one of the best organizations, you know, in the state. And uh, I only hope that, uh, you know, the future remains as successful as the past, you know, with the new officers coming in and some of the new board people. Uh, you know, I wish them all, uh, you know, continued success. And thank you.